Well, the Blues lent the Carabao Cup to Liverpool last season, but they very much want their trophy back. And after knocking out both of last year's finalists, they've now travelled to Southampton to continue their pursuit of what will be a fifth League Cup in six years. Having seen off both Liverpool and Chelsea so far, they're again up against Premier League opponents, well aware that as recently as last season, the Saints held the Blues both home and away in Premier League fixtures, demonstrating their stoic resistance. At the moment, watching Southampton in possession of the ball, but they're in their own half. And they're just moving it around, the likes of Salisu getting a touch and Diallo, and it's still in Southampton territory. And eventually the Blues win it back, actually. And then there's a little coming together and then Cole Palmer emerges with the ball out of nothing and he gets to the edge of the penalty area and he lays it off and Gundogan came in on it. He mishit it, but Cole Palmer's persistence down the right-hand side freed up a bit of space. He left Salisu in his wake, squared it for Gundogan and Gundogan with one of those runs that no-one seems to be able to pick up, but he side-footed it wide. City have got some defending to do and Southampton are coming down the right-hand side and the pressure is on the Blues here and there's a really good sliding challenge by Amadic Laporte that concedes Southampton's first corner of the match and I'm not sure Laporte's not very pleased with the fact that he had to make that last-ditch challenge so the first corner they've had to defend it's gone short from Ward Prowse and now the cross comes in, second ball City deal with through Calvin Phillips. It's not cleared particularly successfully, it's all bobbling around the edge of the City penalty area. And then there's a shot, it was a sort of half pitch shot really, without too much power by Chayeta Saar, but it went wide by a little thing, fingertip from the outstretched fingers of Ortega. And it goes to Ward Prowse, who pops a long ball forward, City looking for an offside flag, there isn't one forthcoming. And then the shot goes over the bar from Sekumara. Well, City were looking for an offside, it didn't come, and he took it down on the thigh, span and hit it first time, but it flew over the bar, and again, another warning for the Blues. Now it's in the possession of Ward Prowse, who clips the ball into the area area but it's headed away by Ortega and then it reaches Ward Prowse and Southampton have given it away though and City can come forward maybe on the counter but they've given the ball away Sergio Gomez not a great pass you have to be honest and say and now the shot comes in and it's in the back of the City net and Sekumara has given the Saints the lead but you can't say it's against the run of play and you can't say that the warnings weren't evident and all of a sudden City's domination, or so they hoped, has all been turned around dramatically because Lianko stepped in, he slipped it through the gap and Mara's put it into the back of the City net. Lianko does very, very well, steps forward and he delivers a really early pass. Seku Mara just comes across the line, sweeps the ball near post right into the, the near post and at that point, Ortega in the City net, no chance, fabulous ball, great finish, but it was City's mistakes. And now Southampton have broken City down again, and they've scored again! It's 2-0! Gennepo has just floated in a ball from about 30 metres, it's drifted over the top of the head of Ortega, and Southampton lead by two goals to nil. Well, again, City have been caught out. Again, Southampton have turned defending into attack. And again, there is a lovely finish, this time from Gineppo. And City, who were in the ascendancy going forward, they lose the ball. And just moments later, Gineppo sees Ortega off his line and clips it over the top of him. Again, City not at the best. And he'd be very, very disappointed, Ortega with his position, just little look up, and the execution over the top of Ortega is fantastic, but the goalkeeper's starting position is really disappointing at this level. Well, welcome back to St Mary's, a triple change at half-time. Gomez, Palmer and Walker have gone off. Akanji, Ake and De Bruyne have come on so proactive to say the very least 
Michael, are you surprised at all by the triple change? Well, actually, City are going through. They've got a one-on-one -on -one chance, and it's been put wide. It was the first chance that Alvarez has had in the match. There was a through ball down the middle from De Bruyne. Already he's made a difference. Alvarez barely had a sniff on goal in the first half. Within seconds at the start of the second half, A's on side, B's found the pass, and Alvarez just wide. Southampton trying to build, but City win it back through Gundogan. Gundogan plays it forward, but Southampton win it back well. And on it goes towards the City penalty area now. There's an end-to-end -end feel about this game, and Southampton are inside the penalty area. On it goes to Walker-Peters. Walker-Peters looks up. He wants to play across. Ake's in front of him, but uh, Ake won it well. And now he gets it back again, Walker-Peters, right across the face of the goal. My goodness, Shea Adams was close. He dragged it across the face of the City goal. And, well, if Shea Adams had been, say, the height of Haaland, it could possibly have been 3-0, but he isn't. City now have won the ball back, though, and Gundogan plays it to Haaland, and Haaland lays it off, and Rodri pops it out wide. Alvarez takes it down beautifully, plays the ball into the gap, De Bruyne and out to the edge of the area, plays it towards Haaland, and Bazunu is out, and he flops onto the ball and gets a huge cheer. That was more like City, wasn't it? Brilliant counter-attacking, and there's the switch across to Kevin De Bruyne, how he makes this pass. Right across the six-yard area, but Haaland just off his toe, but you know, he does very well to come out and smother. Southampton in possession, and now Southampton coming forward, and City are now backpedalling. And the ball is on the edge of the penalty area. Walker Peters wide on this right hand side. Into the penalty area goes Walker Peters. Comes inside. The shot comes in. It cannons off a player. The flag goes up. Shea Adams puts it in. It doesn't matter. He was about a metre offside. But uh, again, another scare for the Blues. It was a scare, but El Yanusi does incredible down that left hand side. Rodri chasing him. Jao Cancelo. He tries to nick it, and that's the difference. He got the space to go in behind City and then that to be on the back foot. But yes, he was offside and City keep coming, but that's the type of counter-attack they've got to be careful with. Yep. 13 minutes to go. Foden on the edge of the penalty area. Still holds up. Plays it to Gundogan. Gundogan slips by a couple of challenges, goes for the return ball. Gundogan in the penalty area, and the ball is almost taken into his own net by Sally Sue, but Pazunu stretched out his body and got onto the ball right on the line. Great run from Gundogan. Ball into the box was dangerous, and it came off Alvarez and then Sally Sue, and then it was pounced upon by Pazunu, and it stays at 2-0. Rodri picks it up, midway inside the Southampton half. On it goes to Akanji, three minutes to go now. On it goes to De Bruyne, De Bruyne towards the edge of the area, plays it out wide to the right, there's a cross coming in from Joao Cancelo, and it's clear. Foden picks up the loose one on the left-hand side. Foden pops it in, it's cleared again. City just can't get this opportunity to put themselves back in the hunt. Rodri pops it into the box, Haaland gets a touch, but Bazunu's there again. And Gavin Bazunu, a Manchester City Academy player who never made the first team, looks as though he's going to guide his team with a clean sheet to the next round of the Carabao Cup.